Hi everyone, my name is Kirsten Holbrook and for my science experiment I will be making Silly Putty. So I already um, did one in the bag and I didn't take into account how it has to sit to form into the putty. But, and you can't see it because it's, I already colored it. Um, but you can feel it, it's starting to already come together. So for this experiment, um, it was for a fifth grade and it was, um, about matter. So if it's a solid, a liquid, um, what are the properties of matter? Could you identify them? And I feel like this experiment would be good because you could always ask questions. Is silly putty really a solid or a liquid? And so then the kids can do this experiment and, um, it really helped them with being able to identify what is really a solid or a liquid. So for this, you'll need um, liquid starch, which this is the only one that I could find. So um, this is the one I got. You'll need um, Elmer's glue, but not just regular Elmer's glue. It has to be um, the all Elmer's glue all glue uh, which I found at Walmart and I had already used all of it so it's already sectioned into my measuring cups and you'll use one-fourth of the glue and then one half of the liquid starch and <clears throat> I thought if you put them in a baggie it'd be easier for the kids to take them home so Let's go ahead and get started. So pour the liquid starch in to the measuring cup. And then the glue. And this is kind of messy, so I would suggest if doing this with a class that you have a couple of parents come in and help so you're not the only adult trying to get it. I saw on another thing too if you didn't want to use liquid starch that you could do corn starch and um, like but you'd have to whisk it like you have to heat it up and all that stuff so since this is at school I just feel like it would probably be easier and then just mix it up in the bag. So, and it takes a while for it to, to start to come together, but and I don't even think you'll be able to see it because the liquid starch is so um, cloudy that I don't think it really helps seeing wise. But you can start to feel it like clumping, clumping together and becoming a solid. And then while you're mixing it, just choose whatever color you want um, food coloring. And I'll do yellow for this one since I already am making a green one. But I just feel like this would be fun for the kids. They get to um, touch this, feel it, and it just makes it a good learning experience for them. You can see it already starting to turn. We'll go back to the green one and it just takes a lot of like kneading and it starts to get thicker as it sits in the the bag I almost want to do one with the cornstarch because I feel that the cornstarch would probably make this a little faster of a process feel the little 
pieces. So you could do this in a container or a bag. You could probably even bring like popsicle sticks. The kids could stir it together. Um, anything to make it a little faster and easier on you. But I just felt that if they did it in a bag, they could take it out, they could put it on saran wrap, play with it, and then once it's finished, they can put it back in here and they can take it home and it's something easy for them to get back home. So, I hope everyone enjoyed my science project. Um, I really encourage everyone to try it because it's really fun to make and to get to see the process of it changing from a liquid into a solid.